you know, no doctor wants to be making bad medical decisions. And the the challenge with medical decision making is that it's sort of like a, a crucible for bias because you have an extremely complex decision that you have to make. You often have very little time, not enough time. You often have not enough information, especially in like an ER context, you know, emergency department context. And you often have too few resources at your disposal. And so you're under a lot of pressure to make a complex decision in a short amount of time. Research shows that when people are under cognitive load, so when people are under time pressure or resource pressure, when people feel a lot of cognitive um, pressure, they're much more likely to rely on shortcuts and stereotypes. So you have this kind of like, you know, <laughs> crucible where you have really, really high stakes, really high stakes decision-making, maybe the highest stakes, some of the highest stakes decision-making possible in a context where it's very likely that bias is going to play a part. And so that's why it's so important for healthcare organizations and healthcare providers and healthcare you know, communities to really think critically about where bias enters decision-making and be given tools to, to combat it.